Hey, it's Paul here on the Friendly Reviewer. On this channel, we keep you up to date with the latest on the Netgear Orbi, so make sure to subscribe. So over the past few months, as Netgear's added tons of features in the Netgear Orbi, you may have noticed some stability issues or heard people talking about them. I've seen a little bit, but I haven't been able to point, really get my finger right on it and to figure out what it is, and it kind of comes and goes. And it's not enough that's bothered me too much, but I know there's some people that are having a lot of issues with it. We're gonna talk about that a little bit in this video. First, we're gonna talk about, I don't know if any of you have seen a little bit of a resin around the base of the Orbi when you lift it up. Well, it's because it's leaking. With the newest firmware version, 2.0.1.4, they've actually finally fixed this memory leak. Yes, that was actually a joke. This is not the Apple HomePod and there's no real leak going on inside of it, but they have fixed a memory leak with that. Now, you may be wondering, wait, 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 back things up. Did you just say 2.0.1.4? So if you've been following along, the last release was 2.1.2.18. So this is in the wrong order. So what's going on here? Well, Netgear's finally started addressing the stability issue and they put it on the Netgear community. And what they said is a couple of steps that they're gonna be doing. So they went back to this 2.0.1.4 and what they're going to go is have that as their now their new base. And they're not going to put in auto upgrading to this other chain that they kind of went down. So call it maybe a, a firmware version branch that's going on there. So we went down this other route here that was unstable. They're going to bring it back and then I think they're going to add the features back in a little bit at a time so they can make sure that everything is stable. What their plan is is that they're going to go back to version 2.0.1.4 as their base version and leave that old branch out there and start a new branch is what, what it really appears to be that's gonna be stable. So if you're on that old branch, what you're gonna to need to do is go and manually update your firmware back to that old number, which is the new number. Manually update your firmware back to the smaller number, which is the newer number. Does that make any sense? I don't know. So go back to 2.0.1.4, and if you don't know how to do that, click on the link right up here or in the description below, and it'll teach you how to manually update your firmware. When you're doing that, a tip that they have is make sure that your satellites, all of them, one, two, I don't know however many you have, and your router all have the exact same firmware version all the way down through all the different decimal points. Also, make sure to unplug them all and then plug them back in so they can all do a full reboot to make sure that everything's synced up just fine. If you have any issues with speed, with devices connected to your satellite, move that satellite a little bit closer to the router and that should help out with that. And as they then start releasing new firmware upgrades, it's not going to go down that old branch, but they'll start moving down the new branch. So they're not gonna auto upgrade you and kind of push you right back through where you're just at with the unstable issues. So I'm pretty happy that they're finally addressing this. And again, I haven't been able to really put my finger on what's going on there. And I know there's a lot going on in the community talking about this. So people are probably pretty happy at least that they're addressing it. They're also interested, if you're willing to work with them and stay on the unstable branch, is to talk to them and talk to their engineering support, to talk to them about what's going on in the system to help them debug the problem. I know some people that follow this YouTube page right here that have talked to me and said they've worked with Netgear engineers in the past, and they've actually resolved some issues and got their system up and running. So this is actually a, a good thing. I look at it as a positive. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna put some information in the description below so you can get in touch with Netgear and their support so you can work through some of those issues. If not, just go over to version 2.0.1.4, start down the new branch, and we'll see where it takes you. For me, I'm probably gonna stick with the, what's called the unstable branch for right now because it has those newer features in it and I'm not having a lot of issues. If they start releasing those newer features on the new stable branch, I'll go down that direction and switch over. So I'll just, I'm gonna leave it in the air right now of which direction I'm gonna go, but for right now, I'm gonna stay with the, the larger numbers in the old branch. Hope that wasn't too confusing for everyone. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think on the whole issue and what issues you've been having and which direction you're gonna go on it. I'd really be interested in that. So this has been Paul with version 2.0.1.4. Thank you for watching.